What's going on everybody? It's your boy Coochies. We're on NBA 2K17 as you can see. Uh, I honestly do absolutely love this game. It's amazing. I played some park. Uh, I did me and Slight Mike did really good on twos. So we went on an 11 game win streak and then got off to play threes. That didn't go so well. But um, since I am a shot creator, I've been learning a lot of dribble moves and I was just gonna share some basic ones with you guys. If you're new to the game, I like never played 2K. You, I mean, if you have, you probably know some of these. You probably learned them if you're a shot creator and you, you're trying to sauce. But these are just some basic moves that I thought would help some people. So first off, um, this one you're going to hold RT. And when you're holding RT, you're going to flick your right stick to the opposite direction. It's going to do this animation, which can honestly get a lot of people. And you can... Uh, combo it with a, a crossover so like I said RT hold it flick it to the opposite hand and then as you're holding RT flick your uh, and flick your left stick to the opposite hand so it does a crossover so again you're gonna flick your right stick to the opposite hand and then flick your left stick to the opposite hand to do that little combo it can be nice and it can honestly get a lot of people if you have good dribbling skills um, like playmaking and speed and all that type of thing all that type of stuff so another one RT and down on the right stick and this can get a lot of separation if your defenders not playing too tight on you I mean, if he's playing tight this could work but if he's playing off I think this is a good hesitation because you move forward so he might move back a little and then you can just pop a shot and so that that's a really good one in my opinion and so uh, one of the behind the backs I honestly really like is it's Kyrie I believe. Yeah, Kyrie. His behind the back is really nice. I like it a lot. And what's the other one? And the ISO behind the back, Elite Four. I like those two because, it, um, especially the Elite Four, because you're running. Just flick the right stick down without holding RT. Flick the right stick down without holding RT. And you do a really quick behind the back that can get a lot of people. But if you're in traffic, it might not work because you might flick it into somebody else. But if you like, it is an ISO for a reason. So if you just one on one somebody, you're just running up on them. Do that little move, and you can get a lot of separation off of them. And you can always combo a lot of these moves. Um, so this one, and then just keep running. This isn't as easy as 2K16. You're not, you can't do too much cheese a lot because of stamina, and it doesn't let you. Or at least I haven't got the timing down, where you can flick off um, this and then cut real quick. Unless I don't have the timing down, or you can't do it. But it doesn't matter uh, if you if you don't have a really good defender, then these moves can get people. So this is the classic behind the back. And then another behind the back. I mean, you just have to combo the moves. It's as simple as that. Um, and so to do to do your signature styles, if you don't know, you don't press RT while you're doing them. Um, I don't really like some of these. Like behind the back is probably the only one I might use. And then um, the between the legs. But most of the time, I'm not going to be standing still too often. I'm going to be sprinting, do a little behind the back, stuff like that. And it's as simple as that, honestly. There's not too much to it. I'll uh, In the future, I'll make an in-depth one. But these were some basic moves. So to recap, to do this move, you take your ball, hold RT, and flick the right stick to the opposite hand. And combo with the flick and the left stick to the opposite hand. That's one combo. And if, say, your defender is not um, putting that much pressure on you, hold RT, flick the right stick down. Boom. You get some shooting room right there. And the last one is just a simple behind the back. And you can do this if you're standing still by not holding RT. And then you can like you can always combo everything pretty much. And then flick. Oh, you got some separation. I'm a shot creator, so I can shoot off the dribble. If you're a sharpshooter, that's probably this probably really isn't the video for you. Um actually that's wrong. You're just not gonna be able to do some of the pull-ups like that. I, mean, I don't know if I'll make that. Oh, I did. But it's as simple as that, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this very simple tutorial of some dribble moves in 2K16. Uh, if you if this helped, drop a like. 
if it didn't help i'm sorry um i'll be making an in-depth tutorial as soon as i can if you like the video subscribe like comment what you want to see next i'll be putting out a lot of 2k17 content in the future so i hope you all enjoy and i'll catch you guys in the next one